Hey guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today we are going to educate on the leg extension. Before we get into the exercise, we would love for you to leave a comment, like this video, and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. We are so grateful for you. Let's hop in. All right, Sue's gonna get into the machine, and this is a, a very straightforward exercise as we are executing it, but there's a, a couple of main points that we teach our clients that are pivotal in terms of having success in this movement. So the first thing is going to be the leg pad here. Now, you guys tell me, have you been personally victimized by destroying your shin on this piece of metal? I know that I have. One thing that I will tell you to do to never have that happen again is that there should be a lever on the side and you'll want to open that up. That's super loud. And <laughs> even louder, and this will allow for you to get into the seat comfortably, and then you will open that. We're gonna do it a little bit quieter. And this will allow for you to get into the proper position with that pad. Now, from there, you're gonna want this to be on the lower portion of your shin. You're not going to want it to be on your feet because that is uncomfortable as well as not going to be great from a force production standpoint. Now that we have this in the proper position, we wanna move our way up to the knee. And what we wanna focus on here is that the crease of the knee is pressed up against the edge of the, of the seat here. The other aspect is going to be the knee is in perfect alignment with the axis of rotation. And so if we have those two points in place, now the knee is in the proper position. And if you're experiencing any knee pain in this exercise, there's a couple of different reasons why that may be happening. But one of them may be that your knees are too far forward and you're not having the contact point in the crease of your knee. So be mindful of that if you're seeing that in the leg extension or you're experiencing pain, that could be part of it. From there, we're going to want to have Sue's back positioning up against the back pad, and she's going to be contracting her core. She's going to pull her arms in very tightly to the handles. This is a very important piece because oftentimes you see people holding their quads or, or doing this crazy dance with their hands. And what we wanna do is create a very stable environment for those quads to work, and that starts with holding onto these handles very tightly. The next thing is that we want to have a contracted core, but we do not want to be leaning forward. This is actually some research done by Minno Hinselman that is going to show that having a slight lean back to your positioning is going to have a, a greater bias or greater tension created through that rec fin. And the rec fin is probably my favorite part of the quad. We got all this nerdy terms, huh? The rec fin is just a portion of that quad that's going to run up to the hip. And it's super cool when it's really dense and not many people have it, so when you've got it, it's like, I can see it. <laughs> so if you stay in a more upright or slightly lean back position, you're gonna have better tension to that rec fin. Now that we have our setup, a main thing that we want to focus on as we start to contract the quads is that we want to be slow out of that bottom position because if we fly up with it, like that. And if you've seen our lying leg curl video, you'll know in there that we talk about that first 15 degrees of knee, well, in this instance, knee extension, but in the lying leg curl, knee flexion, the first 15 degrees is going to be dictated very heavily by the gastroc or the calf. And so if we're slow through that first 15 degrees and then we start to accelerate as Sue gets to full knee extension, then we're gonna have a better bias on the quads. Now, our goal within this exercise is getting the quad fully shortened. And we don't have a laundry list of exercises that allow for us to get the quad fully shortened and that adds even greater value to this exercise to be very good at it and execute it very well. And so when we're, we're looking to get fully shortened in the quad, oftentimes individuals when performing this exercise are not getting to full knee extension, similar to what we see here. And what we wanna get to is seeing that Sue is getting to that full knee extension point to fully shorten those quads. And when you're doing this, you have to really pull yourself hard into the seat. One of the common errors that we do see within our clients and across social media is that their butt is lifting off of the seat as they are going into knee extension. And this is utilizing a greater degree of the hip flexors and those different aspects. And so if you're utilizing the cues that we talked about at the beginning, where we were pulling hard into that seat, contracting our core, and really forcing ourselves into knee extension with control, that's not going to happen. If you love this video, we've got more where that came from on Instagram and TikTok. Check us out.